Obsidian is a naturally occurring volcanic glass formed as an extrusive igneous rock. It is produced when felsic lava extruded from a volcano cools rapidly with minimum crystal growth. Obsidian is commonly found within the margins of rhyolitic lava flows known as obsidian flows, where the chemical composition induces a high viscosity and polymerization degree of the lava. The inhibition of atomic diffusion through this highly viscous and polymerized lava explains the lack of crystal growth. Obsidian is hard and brittle. It therefore fractures with very sharp edges, which had been used in the past in cutting and piercing tools, and has been used experimentally as surgical scalpel blades. Origin and Properties Among the various forms of glass we may reckon Aussian glass, a substance very similar to the stone found by Osseus in Ethiopia. The translation into English of natural history written by the elder Pliny of Rome shows a few sentences on the subject of a volcanic glass called Ossian, so named from its resemblance to a stone found in Ethiopia by Ossias. Obsidian is the rock formed as a result of cooled lava, which is the parent material. Having a low water content when newly formed typically less than 1% water by weight, becomes progressively hydrated when exposed to ground water, forming perlite. Tectites were once thought by many to be obsidian produced by lunar volcanic eruptions, though few scientists now adhere to this hypothesis. Obsidian is mineral-like, but not a true mineral because as a glass it is not crystalline. In addition, its composition is too complex to comprise a single mineral. It is sometimes classified as a mineraloid. Though obsidian is usually dark in color similar to mafic rocks such as basalt, Obsidian's composition is extremely felsic. Obsidian consists mainly of CO2, usually 70% or more. Crystalline rocks with obsidian's composition include granite and rhyolite. Because obsidian is metastable at the Earth's surface, no obsidian has been found that is older than Cretaceous age. This breakdown of obsidian is accelerated by the presence of water. Pure obsidian is usually dark in appearance though the color varies depending on the presence of impurities. Iron and magnesium typically give the obsidian a dark brown to black color. Very few samples are nearly colorless. In some stones, the inclusion of small, white, radially clustered crystals of cristobalite in the black glass produce a blotchy or snowflake pattern. It may contain patterns of gas bubbles remaining from the lava flow aligned along layers created as the molten rock was flowing before being cooled. These bubbles can produce interesting effects such as a golden sheen. An iridescent, rainbow-like sheen is caused by inclusions of magnetite nanoparticles. Occurrence Obsidian can be found in locations which have experienced rhyolitic eruptions. It can be found in Argentina, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Canada, Chile, Georgia, Greece. El Salvador, Guatemala, Iceland, Italy, Japan, Kenya, Mexico, New Zealand, Peru, Scotland, Turkey and the United States. Obsidian flows which may be hiked on are found within the calderas of Newbury Volcano and Medicine Lake Volcano in the Cascade Range of Western North America, and at Inayo craters east of the Sierra Nevada in California. Yellowstone National Park has a mountainside containing obsidian located between Mammoth Hot Springs and the Norris Giza Basin, and deposits can be found in many other western U.S. states including Arizona, Colorado, New Mexico, Texas, Utah, Washington, Oregon and Idaho. Obsidian can also be found in the eastern U.S. states of Virginia, as well as Pennsylvania and North Carolina. There are only four major deposit areas in the central Mediterranean. Liperi, Pantelleria, Palmarola and Mondiasi. Ancient sources in the Aegean were Melos and Gialli. Asiga paragraph L town and the Gar paragraph L one quarter die volcano were the most important sources in central Anatolia, one of the more important source areas in prehistoric Near East. Historical use the first archaeological evidence known of usage were made from within Cariandasi and other sites of the Ashiolian age dated 700,000 BC, although the number of objects found at these sites were very low relative to the Neolithic. Use of obsidian and pottery of the Neolithic in the area around Liperi was found to be significantly less at a distance representing two weeks' journeying. 
Anatolian sources of oxygen are known to have been the material used in the Levant and modern-day Iraqi Kurdistan from a time beginning sometime about 12,500 BC. The first attested civilized use is from excavations at Tel Brak dated the late 5th millennia. Obsidian was valued in Stone Age cultures because, like flint, it could be fractured to produce sharp blades or arrowheads. Like all glass and some other types of naturally occurring rocks, obsidian breaks with a characteristic conchoidal fracture. It was also polished to create early mirrors. Modern archaeologists have developed a relative dating system, obsidian hydration dating, to calculate the age of obsidian artifacts. Middle East in Europe in the 5th millennium BC, blades were manufactured from obsidian mined in what is now Turkey. Ancient Egyptians used obsidian imported from the eastern Mediterranean and southern Red Sea regions. Obsidian was also used in ritual circumcisions because of its deftness and sharpness. In the east of the Mediterranean the material was used to make tools, mirrors and decorative objects. Americas Lithic analysis can be instrumental in understanding pre-Hispanic groups in Mesoamerica. A careful analysis of obsidian in a culture or place can be of considerable use to reconstruct commerce, production, distribution and thereby understand economic, social and political aspects of a civilization. This is the case in Yaxchiloen, a Maya city where even warfare implications have been studied linked with obsidian use and its debris. Another example is the archaeological recovery at coastal Chumash sites in California indicating considerable trade with the distant site of Casa Diablo, California in the Sierra Nevada mountains. Pre-Columbian Mesoamerican's use of obsidian was extensive and sophisticated, including carved and worked obsidian for tools and decorative objects. Mesoamericans also made a type of sword with obsidian blades mounted in a wooden body, called a maculuitl. The weapon was capable of inflicting terrible injuries, combining the sharp cutting edge of an obsidian blade with the ragged cut of a serrated weapon. Native American people traded obsidian throughout the Americas. Each volcano and in some cases each volcanic eruption produces a distinguishable type of obsidian, making it possible for archaeologists to trace the origins of a particular artifact. Similar tracing techniques have allowed obsidian to be identified in Greece also as coming from Malos, Nysaros or Iali, islands in the Aegean Sea. Obsidian cores and blades were traded great distances inland from the coast. In Chile obsidian tools from Chaita copyright N volcano have been found as far away as in Chan Chan 400 km north of the volcano and also in sites 400 km south of it. Easter Island Obsidian was also used on Rapa Nui for edged tools such as Mataya and the pupils of the eyes of their moa. Current use, though not approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration for use on humans, obsidian is used by some surgeons for scalpel blades, as well-crafted obsidian blades have a cutting edge many times sharper than high-quality steel surgical scalpels, the cutting edge of the blade being only about 3 nanometers thick. Even the sharpest metal knife has a jagged, irregular blade when viewed under a strong enough microscope. When examined even under an electron microscope an obsidian blade is still smooth and even. One study found that obsidian incisions produced fewer inflammatory cells and less granulation tissue at seven days, in a group of rats. Don Crabtree produced obsidian blades for surgery and other purposes, and has written articles on the subject. Obsidian scalpels may currently be purchased for surgical use on research animals. Obsidian is also used for ornamental purposes and as a gemstone. It possesses the property of presenting a different appearance according to the manner in which it is cut, when cut in one direction it is jet black. In another it is glistening gray. Apache tears are small rounded obsidian nuggets embedded within a grayish-white perlite matrix. Plinths for audio turntables have been made of obsidian since the 1970s. For example the grayish black Sten B3 plinth by Technics. See also, hyaloclastite and tachylite to eurovolcanic glasses with basaltic composition, napping, Libyan desert glass, Mare Island slash Tua, a source of Maori obsidian tools. Obsidian hydration dating, stone tools. Yakshkilan lintel 24 a Euro ancient carving showing a Maya bloodlet ritual involving a rope with obsidian shards. 
References External links USGS Oxygen Photo Glossary